Oh, chickens. It's Miss T here. Um, I want to talk to you guys about designing a decoration for your bowl. We want to spend some time and care in designing something nice to accentuate their form. Um, the technique we're going to be using is called scraffito, and this is a technique where we're going to paint a layer of either underglaze or slip onto our leather hard pieces and then we're gonna scratch through that layer of slip to reveal the clay body underneath. Our pieces are gonna be monochromatic, so just one color. We're gonna talk a little bit about sketching out our ideas before we actually paint on them. So this is the piece I'm gonna be drawing and designing for. And so I want you to pay attention to the curve of the outside of the bowl from rim to rim and the shape of the foot. Is it flared out? Is it straight up and down? How narrow is it compared to the bowl? So take a second, get a good look at the overall shape of your piece in those two sections, and then get a good look at the interior shape. Is it round? Um, does it have a thick rim, a thin rim? We're gonna take a minute to look. What you're gonna need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and a sharpie. First thing you're gonna do sharpie so it's easier to see. Cut it in half. Meow. Pew. Now cut half of this in half. Meow. Pew. Done. This is gonna become the side view. This is gonna become the top view. And this is gonna become the three quarter view. <laughs> All right. First thing you're gonna need to do, like I said before, is look at your bowl at eye level. Get eyeball to eyeball with it and we're gonna just draw, I'm gonna start in pencil, a side profile of it. You know, here's the top. What is the shape of your bowl? Is it wide? Is it tall? So look at it and draw it. And then draw the foot. Is your foot narrow? Is it square? Does it flare out? And this one kind of flares out, okay? So this one looks like this. Side view, done. Top view. Uh, most of your bowls are probably gonna be circles, right? Cause they're mostly symmetrical round ones like this. So you just draw a circle. Use your whole hand, your whole shoulder and just make little light, light circles until you get a circle, ta-da. But my bowl is actually in this picture is more of a triangle shape. So I'm gonna draw the circle first and then I'm gonna kind of Use that as a guide to draw my triangle. Now I'm drawing it in Sharpie. How thick is your is your rim or lip? Is it a really thick one or is it a thin one? Mine's kind of a chunky one, so I'm gonna draw it on the outside like a nails. Oops, sorry. Then I'm gonna trace my little line in the Sharpie. Ta-da! That's the top view, looking down on it. Now we're gonna draw a three-quarter view. This might be the hardest one for most people to do, but the first thing you need to draw is an oval. So lightly move your whole hand and you're gonna draw a very skinny oval. Skinny, skinny oval. You can do it. Be brave, be bold, do it. And then, I'm gonna kind of mimic this same swoopy line for the bowl. It's kind of like doot, like a doot, okay? It's easy for me, I know, it sucks, but you'll do it, you'll do fine. So we got our oval, we got our shape of the bowl, and then I'm gonna put on my little foot. It's almost the same as before, except this time we're gonna draw kind of like as if we're looking in to the bowl. I also, on this one I drew it flat, but on this one I'm going to draw it curved. Kind of like a really round opening with a swoopy doopy bottom and a swoopy doopy thing. And on mine, it's actually kind of more of that triangle shape, so I'm going to draw mine with a little bit of a triangle curve to it. So yours isn't going to be like this, but mine has that thick, thick 
triangly top. Phase two is going to be creative time. Figure out how much or how little of your bowl do you actually want to paint on. Do you want to just do something that goes across the top? Do you want to have sort of like a middle panel? Um, do you want to keep it totally blank on the outside but have something kind of interesting when you look inside, kind of like a little surprise element? Lots of things to consider. Is this something you want to like decorate on the foot? Okay, so the next part of this is going to be just use your pencil and draw over your Sharpie so that you could change your mind and be like, oh, I don't like that idea. I'm going to erase this. Another idea you can do is you can do your initial drawings, take another sheet of paper, put it over top, and then you can trace what you just drew. So and sharp, like trace over your Sharpie lines and then have multiple copies, kind of like the human photocopier right now. To um, use for drawing out your ideas. There you go. Draw your bowl. And then design and decorate on it.